Okay, for this project I'm going to be using a size H. It's a 5mm crochet hook. And the yarn I'm using is Lion Brand Heartland. It's a 4-ply uh, worsted weight acrylic yarn. And we're going to start off by making these squares. And you could probably use any granny square that you want. But I'm just going to use this basic one. I'm going to show you how to do it in case you did don't know how. I'm going to start with a slip knot. And then you want to do a chain of four. And then slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. Like that. And then you want to chain three. And that chain three is going to count as a double crochet. Yarn over and go back through the center and do another double like that so there you got two double crochets and you want to chain one go back to the center and do two more double crochets one two chain one go back through the center and do two more that chain one two more so what you want to have is at the end of this round is you need to have eight sets of two double crochet with a chain one in between all of them and it might get a little tight you just got to keep working it or pulling it over So I got one, two, three, four, five, six sets. That's seven. And I need to do one more set of two. And then I'm going to chain one and then slip stitch into the top of my beginning chain three and then I'm going to tie this off like that and then you can pull your tail here and I'll make that circle center circle smaller like that and now I'm going to start with the new collar And you want to, we're going to be working in these chain one spaces. I like to start with the slip knot on my hook. And you can start in any one of the chain one spaces that you want. You can go through that slip knot that's on your hook. Chain three, and that's going to count as a double crochet. Go back into the same spot and do two more doubles. So there you got three doubles in that spot. Then you want to chain two, go back in the same spot again, and do three more doubles. We're forming a corner right now of the square. That. Then we're going to jump over to the next chain one space and put three double crochets in it. Like that. And now we're going to jump over to the next chain one space and do a corner again, which is going to be three doubles, a chain two, and then three more doubles, all in the same space. that and then we'll jump on over to the next chain one space right here and do three 
doubles and then the next chain one space is going to be a corner so it's going to be three doubles a chain two three more doubles Next chain, one space is going to get three doubles. The next chain, one space is going to be a corner. So we're going to get three doubles, a chain two, and three more doubles. And then last chain, one spot, we'll get three doubles. And then you want to slip stitch into your beginning chain three. And then I'm going to clip that collar off. I always pull my corners a little bit. Now I'm going to put another color. Start with the slip knot. And you can start, I like to start in a corner. You can start in any corner that you want. Go ahead and pull through that slip knot on your hook. Chain three. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do the corner again. So three doubles, chain two, and three more doubles. This chain three counts as our first double. So we'll just go back in and do two more. So there we have three, counting that chain three. Chain two, go back in the same spot and do three more doubles. And then we'll jump over here to this space right here in between. And that's going to get three double crochet. Next spot right here, since it's not a corner, it's going to get three doubles. Every spot that's not a corner is going to get three double crochets. And then when you get to the corner, it'll do, you'll do the three doubles, chain two, and three more doubles. Just like that. And you'll jump to the next spot here. Three doubles. And then the next spot three doubles and then you'll jump and you'll do your corner right here in the corner so just repeat that all the way around okay I made it all the way around there and then you just want to chain or slip stitch into the top of your chain three and then you can tie that one off okay now I'm gonna take another color here Sorry, start with a slip knot. Start anywhere you want. I like to start in the corner. You go through that slip knot on your hook. Now we're going to do single crochet. I'm going to go right back in the same spot and do two single crochets in the corner, a chain two, and then two more single crochets all in that corner spot. And then I'm going to work across doing one single crochet in every stitch. And When you're in the corner you want to make sure you pull back and get this very first stitch right there 
otherwise it's going to turn out crooked. And sometimes it hides there, so you want to make sure you get that after every corner. And I'm just working across, putting one single crochet in every stitch, just like this. And then when you get into the corner, every corner is going to be the same. There's going to be two single crochets, chain two, and then two more single crochets. And then like I said, don't forget this little guy. And then keep going around. You just want to do one single crochet in every stitch, except for the corners. And this is how we're going to work the squares. When you get done here, you just slip stitch into your first single crochet, just to close it off. And you okay, you're going to need 13 of these squares. And I did 8 of one color and 5 of another, which you can do any colors that you want. But I'll show you how if you want to set them up the best I can here. I don't have that big of a workspace, so... Top of it here. This one on top. These are going to get sewed diagonal like that. Sides. And then there'll be one on the bottom that gets folded and sewed like that. So that's kind of how it's going to be sewed. Like this. That's how you want to put it together. So I have two, 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 two and these are just one and they're folded in half and they'll get sewed here and on the back side and to sew it probably you want to start by sewing it like this first that's how I'm gonna do it anyways like that And I'm going to sew it like this, and then like that, and then I'll add my other pieces. And I'm going to sew mine. I'll show you how to sew it really quick. I'm going to be sewing mine wrong side facing me. That way the seam is going to be on the outside, or on the inside of the bag. So once you get it laid out like this how you want it. I'm just going to start right here and sew down. So I'm going to pick up these two and you can sew it together any way you like. Since the seam's going to be on the inside and you're not going to see it, I'm going to single crochet mine together. So I'm going to go right in that corner stitch I just started in and single crochet. And I'm just going to go along, matching stitches, single crocheting it together. And like I said, the seam isn't going to, you're not going to be able to see it. And if you want to slip stitch it together, you can. That works. And sometimes I even use a yarn needle to sew it together. It just, I guess it just depends on what you're in the mood for. If I was seaming it together on the outside, I would probably be using slip stitch. But I 
I'm just going to match up my stitches here all the way down. And then I'm in the corner, I'm going to do one single crochet in the corner, like that. And now what I'm going to do is lay it out like that, and you can see how it's, that's the other side, you can't see the seam. But that's how it's going to go. And now, with it still attached, I'm just going to pick up these two. Wrong sides facing me. And I'm just going to start, without clipping my yarn, in the corner of these. Single and crocheting. And I'm going to work my way down. That way you don't have to clip your yarn. You can just do one continual straight line. But if you want to sew, I know some people just sew them one at a time. And that's fine too. Whatever works best for you. Okay, I'm coming to the end here. Go ahead and just do, let me look here. Single crochet in the corner here. And then what I'm gonna do is tie this off since I made it to the end. Now I'm gonna unfold it. And you can see that's how it goes and when you flip it over the seam looks real nice so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick up right here and do the same so these two and then I'll continue with these long, long, one long line and then these and then what I'll do is just sew this way and then this small seam. So I'm going to finish sewing this um, big piece up. Remember we got this sewed, so now you just want to do the same thing right down that along this one, and then come back and go this way, and then this right here. And then I'll meet back up with you and we'll sew these other pieces on. Okay, I got this big piece sewed up. And then my seam is, you can't see my seam. Now I'm going to take my other pieces. Lay them out so I can see what I'm doing here. <clears throat> okay, this is kind of how it's going to be sewed. These are going to fold up like that. But I want to sew them wrong side out. So I'm going to flip this over to where my good side's like that, and then I'll put these. So when I, you can see the wrong sides are facing out. And that's how you want to sew it. And let's see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this over. And I'm going to sew from here down. Pull that up so that and then this side will get folded up and also from here down and then take it and so this and this so this will be open right here and here 
won't be sewed. This will, none of this will be sewed. It's going to be the opening of the bag. But once you get it like this, remember our wrong sides are going to be facing us. We're just going to fold these sides over, the bottom, and this one. And then it goes sews down. The same way we just sewed it before. This way. And then you sew from here down. And like that. And then we should be able to flip it right side out and start working on the handle. One more thing, you'll have to sew right here too. Right there. And right there. The bottom here. So that way, that way, that way, and that way, and then just the little spots right here at the bottom. Okay, I got my bag sewed together and I flipped it right side out. That's what it looks like. Now I'm going to start on the handles. And you can make any kind of handle that you want. But I'll show you how to make the kind that I'm putting on it. Start with a slip knot. I am going to start just right over here in the corner. And I'm going to start with a single crochet. Now I'm going to single crochet one and each stitch like this until I get up here to the point like that Okay. When I get up here, I'm going to go ahead and single crochet in the corner here, up here in the point one time. And now I'm going to do a chain for as long as I want my handle to be. And you just keep track of the number of chains so you can do the same on the other side. So And what's going to happen is it's going to stretch over to this point. So, have a long, you want long handles or short handles, it's up to you. And, that's probably good for me. I did a chain of 45. But you do however many you want. And then you just take it. Well, I'm all tangled up, sorry. Okay. You just take it over here to this point and then single crochet into the point. And then one single crochet and every stitch all the way down. Just like this. <clears throat> and I'm just going to continue around until I get to the other point on the other side. I'm just going to single crochet here 
one in each of the little the little points corners on these like that and then I'm just gonna continue around like this single crochet back up to this point okay once you get up to this point single crochet into the point I call it a point corner whatever it is now you're gonna make your chain again I did 45 so And then you just stretch it right over here to the point on the opposite side here. Single crochet it on. And then start doing one single crochet in every stitch again. All the way down. And you want to do this until we get over here to our starting point. Remember just putting one in each of these little spaces down here. Okay, I made it back to my beginning. Now if you want to use a stitch marker here, you can. I'm just going to use this piece of yarn. And that way I'm going to put it here because I'm going to be working in rounds. That way I'll know where my start and my finish is. So I just did my last single crochet and here's my first one. So I'm going to go ahead and this single crochet into the first single crochet. And then I'm going to go around again putting one single crochet in each one of these stitches And then when I get up here to my chain, handle chain, I'm just going to single crochet in every stitch of this chain that's for my handle. Maybe. There we go. I'm just going to put one single crochet in every stitch of the chain and that's going to form my handle and I'm going to keep doing this around and around and around just like that and I'm just going to go all the way around this handle and then back down and back up the side and every stitch on the other handle and back around to my starting point move my stitch marker up and go again and I'm going to keep doing rounds along the sides end of my handles till I get my handles as thick as I want them to be and I don't know how many I'm going to do so I'm going to go ahead and get started and I'll let you know here in just a second how many I do okay I made it around and I went ahead and did three rows on my handles you do as many as you want but I am going to go on the inside and make it a little thicker too but after your three rows here, and you're back to your stitch marker, well, just go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch. And then you can tie that off. Take out your stitch marker. And then you can hide that tail. I'll hide that in a few minutes, though. Okay, now I'm going to start again. And I'm going to do what we just did, but I'm going to do it on the inside and up around the handles. Start with the slip knot, and you can start anywhere you want. Um, think about the best. I'll just start right up here. Just 
go into a stitch. Okay, I'm going to go back into that same stitch and start out with the single crochet. Now I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch. I'm only going to do one round, I think, of single crochet on the inside. But remember, you can always do more. If you feel like you want to do more, go ahead. Or if you don't even want to do this, you don't have to do that. I'm just doing it to kind of clean up the edges a little bit. right down here Oops. one single crochet in each of them corner spaces just like we did earlier and now I'm just working back up with one single crochet in every stitch. I'm going to work along the handles too. like this. And I'm going to put one single crochet on every stitch of the handle and then when I get back down here I'll just slip stitch into my first single crochet and tie off and then I'll just flip it over and I'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay I went ahead and finished and I made a flower and put it on here. I don't know if I'm going to leave it or not but um, I already have a tutorial for this flower so I'll put a link to that tutorial on the screen if you want to make this or you can use any kind of flower that you want or you don't even have to put one but that's it. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my video. And please don't forget to check me out on Facebook. And until next time, have a good day.